How are you guys all doing today? Well, I'm back at the OG, the original garden, not original gangster. The snow is gone and it's time to get some stuff planted. I was out here the other day and I planted some spinach and radishes in the greenhouse here. So I need to water them again. This will be the third day watering. I'm trying to get an early start. It's uh, early April here. But with the season extension here with my greenhouse, I am able to get stuff started earlier and it's supposed to be really warm the next week and then rain almost every day after tomorrow. So that means I can get some stuff planted out hopefully. I get some carrots going over the other side as well. They like the wet um, ground so that it's kind of time it so it's going to rain every day so I don't have to water them. I've got my solid tarps here that I probably showed you last fall and I cut it in I cut it off a bit and I put four over there because it's a bit too long and it looks like the wind is blowing it. So let's take a look to see what it looks like underneath here. It looks like stuff is growing. The grass, but what's going to happen is, you know, these weeds, it's sort of what it's supposed to do, get things germinating and then let everything die off. So I'm going to pull this back. I'm guessing it was pretty windy here. Since it's been blowing around here. And I'll get this reset so the wind doesn't blow it off. And that, it does its job and kill off the weeds because I don't want them under there. I'm gonna grab this glass pane quickly pop it on. So I'll be back in a few minutes here. Once I get this. Got it weighted up now so it won't blow around and it'll do its job. So I'm gonna leave, this was on last fall like I said. So I'm gonna leave this on for a few weeks. Let the sun bake everything underneath it and kill off anything that's there. So I don't have to weed as much by hand. But what we'll do here, we'll hop into the greenhouse here quickly and uh, let's get some watering done. I've been watering this really heavily to every day I come over. Cause I know it's pretty warm in the greenhouse and it dries it out fairly quickly. So with the heavy watering, it's gonna keep it saturated for the whole day. And I've been coming out in the evenings when it's cooler. So it'll keep it moist overnight and hopefully for most of the day as well. This bed here is my spinach. And this one here is my radishes. So I'll be back in a minute to get some water. All right, these beds are done. We'll head over to the carrots. Give them a quick water and be done for the day. All right, so now we're gonna do some watering of the carrots here. Not sure how much of that video, it kind of screwed up on me. So I've got my water barrels here. Got my other toad up there set up. So when it rains the next six, seven days, it'll fill up nicely. Then I just transfer it with a water hose. Slow process, but hey, it works. While I'm out here, I just have to put the hose in do some watering and we're good to go. So with carrots, I've got some boards and these black things here that I put on. You give them a nice heavy watering and you put a cover over them and they'll germinate for you in seven days. If not, they can take up to 21 days to germinate. You need to water, make sure you're watering them once a day, twice a day if it's really warm out. But with the boards there, this has been three days and it's still, still pretty wet. So that's pretty helpful. So we'll water this up quickly. Just give it an extra little boost here. And I get the boards back on. And I need to add a bit of compost to this as well. It's pretty sandy soil I'm working with here. Even after I compost spring and summer, or I guess I should say spring and fall. And that's still pretty sandy. I like the compost on top. Just gives it a bit of protection from the wind blowing the sand off. There we have it. 
nice and watered up and good to go. So I'll put the boards back on here quickly and we'll be good to go. I might mention too, it's early April as well. So pretty early for zone 5A, 5B to be planting outdoors already. I do it every year and sometimes I get screwed, sometimes I don't, but it's supposed to be super warm the next week, week and a half. It's supposed to rain for six, seven days, like I said. So with that being said, these guys should germinate. Carrots like the cooler weather, as I said previously, same with the spinach and radishes. But once they germinate, I'll be putting a roll cover on top just to protect them from any frost. If we do get frost in the next month or so, I find lately April, we haven't been getting frost. May's been pretty good. Late May, we'll get maybe a few frost. But there you go, guys. Quick little update on the first planting of the season. So exciting. Hope you guys are started something indoors at least anyways. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give it a thumbs up. And we'll see you out there. Happy first gardening of the 2021 season.